everybody. This is my love reading for my Scorpios. How y'all doing, Scorpios? Mm-hmm. As I was looking at these cards, well, first of all, I had to take out two different decks because the first one that was telling me right off the back that somebody's definitely stuck. Different cards want to talk for different reasons, and those cards didn't want to talk to me at all about y'all love relationship. So something the fuck is up. So let's see what's going on. So I had to get out a new deck. I shuffled these and finally some things started popping out for me. So what it's saying is that basically you definitely want to be happy within a lover's relationship here. Some of you could be dealing with a Leo here as well because the sun card is a Leo all day, every fucking day. All right? The star card is saying you're thinking about yourself and you're thinking about what you want. You know that your destiny... Within your destiny, everybody wants to be happy within a lover's relationship. It is what it is. Okay? The Eight of Pentacles said that, shit, whatever season, things like that that you have planned, you waiting for that to come to fruition. Sometimes you ask for love and they still talk about your finances, so it is what it is, y'all. Just be patient with me and listen. So you've been working extremely hard. You're honing in on your craft. You're doing what you have to do in order to get to where you need to be. You've been working extremely hard on this lover's relationship, trying to make these things work out. But sometimes you have to defend yourself against others because some people can get on your fucking nerves. It is what it is. I see that you could be dealing with um, air sign. You could be dealing with earth sign. There's fire here and water. So you could be dealing with a whole lot of motherfuckers that could have come into your life to say that they want to love you, but it is what it is. Now, there is a queen of pentacles that's coming in. That's like earth sign person is very grounded. Could be coming in. Or this is just you saying, damn, I want to be treated right like I'm supposed to be treated. I want nice things. I like nice things. You showing the universe. If you show the universe that you want, that you like nice things and you're good, and it, it'll it'll give you that back. It'll bless you with that. Now, this is Leo again. So, there must be a Leo in the midst of But this thing, you need your strength to deal with something that's going on in your life. You have an eight of staff. Some type of communication needs to take place here. You need to look to your higher self in regard to some things that are going on. Spirit guides, things of that sort. Ask the universe. Talk to them. Ancestors and all that good stuff to get the answer you need. And go inside yourself and figure things out. Look at people, places, and things. See what their motives are. Why they here. What do they want from me? What's going on? Go inside yourself. Sometimes you got to give with yourself to think about yourself to get the answers you need. Because sometimes you don't need nobody else's two cents because if they life fucked up and you asking them, what I should do about that? They going to fuck your shit up. Mm -hmm. Now see, the Ten of Pentacles is here saying that your finances... Financial increase is definitely on the horizon for you. The justice card here, which is also the Libra card. I'm thinking that's an air sign. You're going to receive justice for something here. Your ships is definitely coming in on the horizon with the three of staffs. See the ships, but in these decks, it looks like a dragon. But it is what it is. <laughs> Somebody is definitely feeling as though they can't sleep at night. They're up at night. They're worrying about situations that's going on. We see the moon here. You got the dragonflies. Whatever the fuck it is. But you're holding your head in your head because you're tired of shit that's going on. You don't know what to do. Confusion is surrounding you. I see somebody's definitely feeling trapped here. Look, she trapped. Don't know what to do. Can't face life. Can't face reality. What the fuck is going on? You got to make some moves. You got to change things. I, there could be some third party situation going on. I say that because you're going to need some clarity in regard to the situation. Everything going to be on the open. The moon here is going to highlight all the bullshit. Anything that's done in the dark will come to the light. Look at the moon. The moon said, I see you. This moon is very pretty, but this moon is awesome, too. Is that the damn moon? That could be the sun, y'all. Fuck, I don't know what the fuck it is. Shit. Moon, sun, y'all know, fuck. <laughs> this ain't no damn astrology class. This is tarot, damn it. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. I get... I get I took, I'm tickle pink sometimes by myself, shit. All right. Definitely this is the moon. It's going to highlight some things within your life. You're going to get the clarity that you need. Intuition is an all-time high is what this is telling me. Now, some of y'all dealing with a toxic relationship. and you drinking too much, drugging too much, doing too much or something. Somebody doing a little bit too fucking much. Stalking and all that old bullshit is too much. Some of y'all need to let that shit go. Somebody drinking and drugging and causing confusion in your life. You don't need that. You got to move on to something better. The two of wands are sis, and you've been waiting for something better to come into your life. Really? So you need to make that head of a hard decision. What you going to do? Just sit here blindfolded, your hands down, your head down. That position in itself 
It's a very depression. You got to hold your head up. Take that blindfold off and see what's going on around you. Shit, you got too much shit going on for you not to be trying to see what's going on. Even though you're intuitive like a motherfucker, you still need to see with your plain eyes, not just your spiritual eyes. Yes, you're going down a long, hard road here with the tennis. And, and you're going to be, oh, I see you're going to be walking away. Somebody walking away, leaving people placing things behind that no longer serve them. I didn't got on their fucking nerves. Just saying, fuck it, I'm out. Going to say what you mean to me. What you say about the situation is what the fuck it is. There you are. You're standing in your own fucking, you're standing in your own. That's it. Stand in your own power. But this could be you here. Somebody coming to you and tell you they got some shit on their mind, but you still gonna stand your own power. Tell them motherfucking ass off and keep it kicking. Somebody's bored here, but they're in a lover's relationship. It is what it is. You can't stand a lover's relationship like that. You can't stand to be bored. You got a whole lot of shit going on. You feeling everybody vibration. You look at people life. You see all down their line and generations and generations and all that. You take in a lot. Y'all need to quit that shit. That's what's going on. Picking up all them vibrations. But I see you have some wishes and things like that that you want to be fulfilled within your life. In order to get to your wishes being fulfilled, there's some shit that needs to be taken care of. Like getting out of a toxic relationship if that's what you're dealing with, somebody toxic. You can't deal with that. How you think you're going to get to um, celebrate? This is a celebration card, but it's also a third-party situation. You're dealing with three people. What's going on? How much sex can you have? Fuck. It ain't all about that. It's about getting to your happiness. All right? All right, Scorpios. I hope you enjoyed this love reading. I hope it resonated for you. Please like, subscribe, comment in the comment section down below. Share my videos and tell people about Miss Bliss. Until next time, y'all have a blessed day. Thank you.